Hi guys and happy December. My goodness gracious, seriously, this year has gone by so fast. I actually feel really bad for November. I feel like November didn't even get a chance. It's over, it's done, it's gone. I just, I feel really bad. So anyways, today is my November favorites video and the first favorite is what I am filming on right now. You guys cannot tell and I really hope you can because Spent a hefty penny on it. Um, I bought a new camera for my videos and it is so exciting. This feels so official. Um, I bought the Canon Rebel T3i. Uh, I am like obviously beyond excited. I love it. Like I'm looking right now, I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so homey. Like Christmas lights behind me and oh my gosh, I just love the clarity of it and I still have lots to learn, but I am just so excited. This is the coolest thing ever. I used to stack like two tables on top of each other and put my little camera on and now I have like an official tripod. I have the official camera. It's amazing and it makes me wonder why I didn't do it two years ago when I first started. But the big push was for baby because obviously, for those of you who don't know, we are pregnant and expecting in seven weeks, oh my gosh. Um, but we really wanted to be able to take good pictures and good videos of baby and I was like, well, I can also use it for my channel. So I just said, what the heck, why not? And we bought it and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I, like, I'm loving this. I feel official. I feel like an official YouTuber now <laughs> that my lighting is so good and it looks so great. So anyways, that was my first favorite as I said. I'm so excited about this camera and I just want to kiss it and hug it and love it. But let's go ahead and jump right in to my favorites for the month of November. So the first thing I've been loving because obviously the weather has finally changed and we have a winter and it's been cold is baths. I've been loving baths. I never used to be a bath person. I kind of thought that they were gross and just that they took too much time and it was too hot. but. Now with baby, I am all about it. I love it so much. So I told you guys, I think it was last month that I loved um, the bath bombs, but I've kind of been running out of those. So we went and picked up some Epsom salts. They are extremely inexpensive and they are awesome. And I love that. I love this camera. I just love it. Um, but yeah, Epsom salts, they are really, really good. Um, they're minerals, they have magnesium in them. Magnesium is something that is depleted from our soil, so it's good to get it in other ways. So your body absorbs it through these um, bath salts. They're not actually salts, it's a mineral. Found that out in the back of the package. But basically, um, it increases the relaxing effects of a warm bath after strenuous exercise or just walking around being pregnant. Um, and they gently exfoliate the skin. We looked it up online and like there's a bunch of different amazing things about them. But what we'll do is you add two cups to your bath water and then we also add lavender essential oil, which is very calming. Um, so it just creates a very overall amazing experience after a long day of work or being on your feet or just in general, just to relax at the end of the night. So I've been loving baths. And then I told you guys last month my favorite candle was Warm Caramel Cider. I think that's what it was called. And then this month I loved the candle Harvest Gathering from Bath & Body Works. Once again, the packaging was so adorable on these. Um, I loved it so much, but this one smelled so good. This one reminded me of like transitional. It reminded me of Thanksgiving, but also Christmas because it smells like apple-y. Apple's like the number one smell I'm getting right now from the bottom of the candle, but it smelled apple-y. It just smelled... I think there was some cinnamon in it as well. It just smelled so warm and welcoming. Harvest Gathering, I loved it. Loved this candle so much. And now we are now burning a new one back there. We're burning um, fresh balsam um, because we have a fake Christmas tree and it smells exactly like a Christmas tree. It was like the final thing that we needed to make our house smell like Christmas and we love it so much. So then that is it for kind of random things. So going right ahead into beauty, just a couple this month. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and show you all the products that I use for the month because they're basically the same as the past couple months and I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm just going to show you what I kind of refound again. So this is the C.O. Bigelow <laughs> Rose Salve from Bath & Body Works. Just this pink little tan, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before, but basically you're supposed to be able to use it on like anything, like your cuticles, elbows, knees, um, lips, face. I would not use this on my face because it's really sticky, but it just looks like this and I've been using this for years. Um, I love it so much. Um, the only reason I'm using it right now really is because I can't find my EOS lip balms because Brad keeps taking them from me <laughs> and bringing them to school and I never find them again. So um, I've been using this one and I love it so much. Just apply it and right away my chap lips are already moisturized. Um, not only is it dry outside, so that's causing dryness on my lips, but also being pregnant makes it like three times worse. So I've been using this and I've been absolutely loving it. And then obviously this month I have been loving to straighten my hair. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just go through phases and then I find when I straighten it in the winter it stays straighter longer as opposed to in the summer when I straighten it and then it's just like big frizz ball. So the product that I have recently reached out under my cover and I know I'm supposed to use this when I curl my hair as well but it's just an extra step. I know it's saving my hair but whatever. Is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth, uh, the heat protection spray. 
this thing used to be talked about all the time. Like I swear every single favorites video, every girl had their heat protection spray in it and now I've heard nothing about it, which maybe is part of the reason why I forgot about it. But um, no, I've been grabbing this and I love it. I definitely notice a difference when I straighten my hair. Um, so I'll blow dry my hair, then I'll spray this all in it, kind of let it, well, I'll brush it out and then let it dry and then I will straighten my hair. And I definitely notice that my hair just looks smoother and sleeker and just stays straighter longer. So this is a good product to use. And then obviously because I've been straightening my hair, I wanted to tell you guys about my straightener that I use because I don't think I've ever actually mentioned it in a video before because my favorites videos always tend to be way too long because I ramble. Um, so I used to like film it in there and then I'd be like, oh, I talked about the straightener for like 10 minutes, cut it. So like I said, I don't think I've ever actually put this in a video before, but I love this straightener. This is the um, iTools Bioionic uh, One Pass One Inch Nano Ceramic Straightening Iron. I love this thing so much. I bought this probably four years ago now maybe. Oh my gosh, has it been that long? Um, because I was using the, what's it called? What brand is that? That's like really popular but inexpensive and they sell it everywhere. I can't remember. I think it starts with Conair. I was using the Conair straightener and it just wasn't really doing anything. I mean, I have a lot of hair and I have thick hair and it just took forever to straighten and I never really felt that it was doing its job. Like sometimes I'd be like, oh, that looks good, but it was never consistent. So then I decided to take the plunge one, I think it was Black Friday, and I just went out and I said, you know what, what the heck, they were having a sales $100 off, so I said, I'm just spending the money. It was still like $200 for the straightener, but it's worth every single penny, literally one pass. Like make sure your hair is completely dry and then just one pass over each strand of hair and it straightens it. So awesome, like my hair is ridiculous. If you guys would ever see me <laughs> come out of the shower, it's like wavy and it's thick and it's blah, but this straightener like does the job. So I really, really recommend this. I love it. If you guys want a full review on it, just leave it in the comments down below. I'd be happy to do that for you, but it's awesome. I love it so much. All right, so then two beauty products that aren't part of my favorites. They are just empties because I told you guys I kind of want to just start including those into the monthly favorites if I happen to use anything up. So this month I used up the Maggi Lumi um, color corrector. I think last month I used up the Maybelline one. Um, so this is the L'Oreal version, um, and I'm pretty sure they're made by the same company, but um, same thing, same idea. You just twist the bottom, and it has a little brush, and then I just apply it like in a V form, and then I use my brush and blend it in into spots. This one worked well, but because I was also using the Maybelline one at the same time, I was able to compare them really close together, and I think I've said this in previous videos, but I don't like this one as much. I find that the Maybelline one doesn't settle into my lines and wrinkles. This one kind of does by the end of the day. I also don't like the color of this one. Like the fair color for the Maybelline is better than the L'Oreal fair color. Um, and just, just in general, I just, I just did not like this one as much. It still works great, but like I said, because I compared it basically side by side to the Maybelline one, I was not as impressed with this. And then the other product that I used up was the Too Faced Lash Gas Mascara, um, by Too Faced, obviously. Uh, this mascara I did like, um, I didn't love, but I got it in a kit, so I decided, what the heck, obviously I'll use it. Um, it gave me nice lashes, and I liked that the brush had smaller bristles, because I like it when you kind of get every single little lash. But I don't know, I just found it dried up really quick, and I tend to like a little bit wetter mascaras, and I just wasn't blown away by it, I guess is what I'd say. It's not something that I would repurchase. So those are the two products that I used up, and they were all right. All right, and then for non-beauty favorites, for music this month, I was trying to think of a song on the CD, but honestly, I don't really like anything that's out right now. I kind of find it all raunchy and gross. Um, so I've been listening to a lot of Christmas music, which I have been absolutely loving, obviously, because Christmas obsessed. But the CD that I would recommend to you guys right now, especially if you guys are into Christmas, is Kelly Clarkson's Wrapped in Red. She came out with a CD last year. Brad and I were so excited. We like ran to the store the day it came out. But I love this CD. Um, it is awesome. She has classics on there and then she also has a couple that she wrote herself and they are all so adorable, so cute. Obviously Kelly Clarkson has an amazing voice. How many times have I said obviously in this video? Apparently that's my favorite word of the month, but highly recommend this Christmas CD. It plays in our house almost every single day. I love it. I must have been living under a rock because I had no idea about the show Sherlock. Oh my gosh, like the BBC one, not the, I think this one called something else on like American version, but um, Sherlock on Netflix we have watched and it was amazing. It was awesome. Benedict Cumberbatch, superb. And then that other guy who's from The Hobbit, I know he's a big actor, I just don't know his name, um, but he was also also awesome as home, as Watson. Wait, what did I say? Holmes and Watson. 
Holmes. Maybe that's the one that's on like American television. I can't remember. But anyways, Sherlock is fantastic. I highly recommend that you guys check it out. It is on Netflix, as I said. Brad and I were so obsessed about that as well. We get obsessive over things, clearly. Um, but we did not realize that there's only, I think there's only three seasons that there is. And the episodes are all like an hour and a half long, which is so cool. So it's like a mini movie. I love it so much. But we kind of like raced through them thinking that, oh, Netflix just put up what's up right now. And then there's probably more like on the internet that we could find. No, that was it. Like, we didn't even realize we were watching the season finale when we watched the season finale and we were like, Wait, what? There's no more? Like, what? And then, obviously, because they're two of the biggest actors in the world right now, um, it's hard for them to, like, get their schedules together. So they said that hopefully filming for the new season will be in January, but even still, like, who knows? So I'm like, I need more Sherlock. If I'd known that, I would have spaced it. But we ran through that season in, like, just a couple of days. It was so awesome like I love when people are smarter than cops and other people so I love this movie like I love catch me if you can because he's smarter and movies like that but because he was so smart like I just love those kind of shows and movies so I absolutely love Sherlock I highly recommend it if you guys have not seen it definitely check it out oh and then my other favorite was visiting Glam Mandy in Colorado that was surreal to be able to be with her and spend time with her and Jake and Forrest um, and also just to film together. That was the coolest thing ever to just be filming with another YouTuber. So Brad and I were extremely thankful that we were able to take that vacation and go out and visit them because we had such a blast. Honestly, it was it was like we had just been friends forever. It was so much fun. So I just want to include that because that was an awesome experience. And Amanda has Glam Mandy's channel and then she also has Glam Mandy's Life. So go check out Glam Mandy's Life if you want to see some of the vlogs that Brad and I were in. Um, they are there. So I'll link those channels down below. But that is it for my favorites of the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I think I did a pretty good job of not rambling too much this month. So I hope you guys enjoy December guys. Take it in because I know it's going to go even faster than November which I don't want. But enjoy this season of just cheerfulness and giving and love and just happiness so I'm so excited for Christmas clearly <laughs> all right one month till Christmas I'm so excited all right I will see you guys in my next video and do not forget you are all beautiful bye guys